this is what we're calling it. It's Furnace College Goes Live. Never been done before, so it's new to it's new to us all. So they've had their assembly. Um, I'm available to give live lunchtime students uh, question and answer sessions whenever they want them. They can just hop on at lunchtime onto Facebook at Furnace College and use the messenger and I'll help them. And then of course we're good. We're doing the parent session now. Um, and we've got our panel, so we'll go through those in a minute. And what you're going to find out about tonight is um, the choice of courses about college life and careers and next steps. OK, so. This is me, I'm Sandra and I'm your school liaison and events officer, and then I'll hand over to the rest of the people who are on and they can introduce themselves and then we'll go. Uh, we'll carry on with the PowerPoint. So I'm Ebony, so I, I'm based in student services um, and I work as a careers advisor, uh, mainly at our Channel Side campus, but I also work at Rating Lane um, as well, one day a week as well, so I do support over there as well. Fabulous. Yeah. I'm Kane and I'm the digital marketing apprentice at, at Furnace College. I did used to study at sixth form, but I found that it wasn't for me, so I have changed. Hi, I'm Lynn Baxter. I am one of the lecturers in health and social care at Channel Side. Hi, I'm Genevieve Stockbridge. I'm one of the education and early years lecturers at Channel Side. Hi, I'm Helen Gibson. I'm the head of the sixth farm at Rating Lane. Um, and I'm Claire Crosscurry. I'm a lecturer in IT, media and business at our Channel Side campus and I also work one day a week uh, with Sandra and Kane in marketing. Brilliant. So I think that's, is that everybody online at the moment? Yeah. Um, I can't see my screen now, so if anybody else needs to join, will you just add people in and let us know? So, um, yeah, we are the beating heart of education in our community and we want to um, go through what we can offer your son and um, what's available at both campuses. So why would you choose us? So Furnace College is the largest provider of education and skills training in Cumbria and we are based on two campuses. So Channel Side, which is down by the cinema and the Rating Lane 6 farm. So in 2019, we were rated by Ofsted with inspectors praising the quality of our provision. So we've, we've, we have done really well through Ofsted and we do offer excellent uh, provision to our students. Um, also, we have the biggest choice of courses in Cumbria, ranging from apprenticeships to A-levels to BTECs two degrees and we are going to be running from September 2021 the T levels which I'll explain a little bit more about these as we go through the presentation. So Channel Side Campus, so this is for full time vocational courses. So these are courses that have um, very hands on um, practical activities built into them that lend towards your qualification. Um, we also offer apprenticeships and higher education on a world class 47 million pound campus. So if you've never been down to the college, then it's worth a visit. And obviously at the moment we can't visit, but we are hoping that as we move into the spring that we will be able to have a face to face open evening. So fingers crossed everybody. So Channel Side Campus also has skills training and apprenticeship training to it and we and we deliver that to a large number of employers in the area such as BAE Systems. We are the main provider for all their training. So um, we focus on providing high quality education and skills training for both young people and adults across Furness and beyond. So our facilities, we have um, great learning hubs where your son stroke daughter can go and study in private and quiet times. The sports facilities, we have the 3G pitch and we also have a gym and the gym has um, a membership facility which costs about £9 a month for students and for outside people it's about £15 a month. Um, we also have um, a hair salon and a beauty salon and you can access any of your treatments there as well. So that's that's a good string to our bow and all our students work uh, within these areas and actually gain uh, work experience. So if you come to Channel Side, then you would pick one of these subjects 
And the reason you only study one of these subjects is because of the size of the qualification. If you pick a level three in one of these subjects, it is equivalent to three A levels. So this is why you can only take one. But we may add other things to your um, course. We may actually add maths and English into this. OK, so if you don't achieve maths and English, then it will be built in. You have to retake it. Yeah. You have to. Right. So um, why would you choose Barrow 6 Farm? So we have around 500 students um, and the class size is average between 16 to 18 people within a class. So that's a really good class size. What do we offer at 6 Farm? We offer A-levels, uh, we offer our B-techs, our C-techs, and again, we're going to be offering T-levels and we also offer GCSEs. Um, our tutors are specialists at post 16 teaching and they are excellent with all our students and they treat each student as an individual. So research shows students who join a sixth form college are better prepared for the next move on to university. So joining a dedicated uh, six, sixth form would be absolutely an amazing choice for you. So it's a proven pathway to go on to university and on to higher apprenticeship. So it depends on what on what you want to do. Um, we have the a, a wider choice of courses than a school six farm. Um, so our course range is 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 quite extensive and, and you will see some of the subjects within a minute. And we have a hundred percent pass rate. Um, and 50% of that pass rate is A star to B, and that was in 2020. So here's all the subjects. So some of them may look really familiar and you may have studied some of these at, actual, at mm -hmm. school already, but there are other subjects within there that you may not have come across yet because of where you've been studying. So you've got psychology, this is just like law, again, but you just choose what you ones that are new. So um, there's the full list of everything we offer at, over at the rating learn campus so as i said before t levels these are new for 2021 and we are um, we have to have you on okay so when you get to because you can get paid for some stuff 80 percent in the class and 20 percent out on um, an industry placement so why would you choose a t level I would say you would choose a T level uh, because of the industry placement. 45 days working out there in the jobs that you may want to do. And this new qualification is, is equivalent to, th to three A levels. So we'll, I'll just see what they're going to be. So these are technical qualifications. So they've been designed by businesses and employers because they know what it is they want from a young person who takes on a T level. So we're going to be uh, delivering the, these ones from September and again they are equivalent to three A levels but the placement yeah. is a sure. massive selling point for this car. Like, you know, so we're going to be offering one a T level in health, a T level in science, a T level in education and childcare and a T level in digital. So I'm now going to hand over to um, the rest of the panel. We've we've had a few yeah, changes you, today um, as we don't have Simon, we have Claire yeah. and we don't have Keith, we have uh, Genevieve today. So I'll hand over to Ebony and she'll carry on from here. Are we there, Ebs? <laughs> Sorry, as I mute then. Um, so um, we've got some questions that are quite popular that we do get asked a lot, so I'm going to direct these to our panel. So one being, um, can you change courses once you're enrolled on a course? Who wants to answer that? Anybody? Uh, so, I can. So my understanding, yeah, from a channel side point of view, you've usually got a cut off of up to well, October half people. term <laughs> in order to switch courses. So um, at that point, it's sort of uh, deemed that you would have enough time to, to catch up. 
Um, mm. So with that, it means that you would have to um, obviously yeah. work hard, do a little bit of extra work to make sure you're on track. But by October half term, you still got that option um, if you want to change your mind. And obviously, uh, our team in student <laughs> services will work with you to help you with that. And we'll make sure that you get the right advice and guidance throughout your course. So if you're not on something that's right for you, we'll always make sure that we try and uh, find something in that first sort of six week window to make sure you are on the course that's right for you. OK, thanks for that, Claire. So another one um, that we get asked is if a student has a problem, who do they see? Anybody want to go for that? I can answer that. They have their own personal sort of progress coach and no, they see them on a weekly basis uh, for an hour and have an hour session, but they can also um, access, they can ask a tutor, uh, you know, there's anybody, it depends what it's about, but, you know, we see the we see them most of the time, so we would direct them on and to their personal progress coach. Yes. I was going to say as well, another good point of contact is going straight to student services. Mm -hmm. yeah. And within student services, we've got people in there who are trained to give you information, advice and guidance, to point you to counselling services or just to generally give you any help if you're struggling with things. So um, that's another good point of co contact as well. So yeah if just on the back of what Sandra's saying if anyone's got any queries with anything sort of relating to courses or issues that we're having in college you know by all means come and see us in student services and you know we can go from there and we can support you um as well and you know if we need to we'll get ppcs involved um but yeah first point of contact you know it can be student services okay so another popular question that we do get asked a lot um is do students have to stay in college all day right who wants to go for that one i'll answer it, it no. well yes and no but i mean just now because of covid we're trying to condense especially in health we're condensing less than yeah. right into the one day uh oh, you know God. so most students have a lunch time so they can either go out for lunch or they can um, go to the canteen for lunch but it really depends on what their timetable is but i know certainly in health and childcare, we're really trying to tighten the the timetable so there's not as much time where you can sort of leave college but a lot of the time you might finish at lunch and that's you for the day or you might start at lunch but it's normally three full days with one or two days placement and that's a good thing just picking up on what Lynn said as well it just means that it gives you those study skills to kind of plan your time a bit more independently so when you've got time off from college you can decide whether you know you want to use that to continue further study uh, there are often at least a day off per week that you might do either a work placement or get some part-time work and as long as that doesn't interfere with your studies it's obviously something we encourage because it builds up all those sort of employability skills that we're sort of keen to teach as part of uh, alongside the subjects as well. So I think having that flexibility allows you to develop that kind of independent study skills and managing your own time, which is always going to help you in careers in the future. Perfect. Brilliant. Thank you both. So um, just the last one for me, um, we do get asked a lot about um, additional support for students. So. Um, what extra support do we offer in our subject areas for students? Anybody want to go for that? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um, we have in class supports. So if you need to access support to help you with the lessons, you can do that. Um, we have a team of learning mentors that you can contact when you arrive at college or throughout college if you suddenly you know feel like you need any support extra support and they will give you support with things like coursework with exams with planning um, your study so all sorts really i think we have those at both sites we have learning mentors at both sites so you can do that wherever you end up perfect Brilliant. i was just going to say as well that um extra support comes in all different formats as well so it depends on the individual so that will be tailored to the needs of the young person and normally when when you make your applications to college which is around the end of november there is a box within the application form where you can actually state if you have any learning needs or that if you need any extra support 
and once mm. this box is ticked it taken through to the air learning support team and and they actually will then put, put in a meeting for you to actually discuss whatever there is that you may need so just make sure that when you're filling out your application form that you do actually tick the box so that we can make sure that when you transition from school to college that it's seamless and that we make sure that you're supported from day one.